Hey, I'm Mike Morrison, and I'm gonna teach you how to skateboard. And this one right here, I dedicate this one right here to all my homies out there grinding. You know what I'm saying? Legally and illegally. You know what I'm talking about? So, check it out. Uh, first got it when he was six, didn't know any tricks. Matter of fact, first time he got on it, he slipped. Landed on his hip, then busted his lip. For a week, he had to talk. Alright, uh, before you start skateboarding, you're gonna need to know things about your skateboard. So this is what a complete skateboard looks like. All right. So this wooden piece, this whole deck right here, that's called your deck. It comes with a nose and a tail. On top of it is grip tape. This grip tape keeps your feet from sliding on the deck. So when you're riding, it's gonna prevent it from slipping all over the place and give you more control. All right, and on the other side, uh, these are called your trucks. This is what controls the direction that you're moving. So if you're gonna move left, for example, you're gonna lean left, your trucks are gonna stay on the ground and this is gonna control which way you're turning. And it also provides grinding for rails and such once you're ready. Also on the trucks is your wheels. Uh, in the middle of the wheels is the bearing, which makes it spin faster. Uh, and skateboards, they spin pretty fast, so you gotta be pretty careful. All right, uh, so next, before you start skateboarding, you're gonna need to know if you're regular or goofy. Uh, regular means that you're riding with your left foot forward, and goofy means that you're riding with your right foot forward. So if you're going down a hill, your left foot's in front of your skateboard, and you're kicking with your right foot, uh, and vice versa for goofy. This board is strong enough to carry two. She said, bow, I weigh 120 pounds. Bow, let me make one thing clear. I don't need to ride yours. We're going to teach you that your foot positions on your skateboard now. Uh, so we're going to assume that you're regular, uh, as most people are. So we're going to have your left foot forward. See how it's facing up with the skateboard. And you're going to have your back foot back here. All right. So now what you're going to do, you're going to take a few pushes, a few pushes, and you're riding. Then you're going to plant this foot just back here, just by the bolts, just back here and you're gonna twist this foot. So now you're gonna be gliding along, looking straight across, just like that. Yeah, uh, swanky. Yeah, yeah, before he knew he had a crew. There wasn't no punk, and they spit fire shirts and All right, so a few things that you need to know about your body position is your balance. So I'm gonna assume that I'm going down the hill right now. All right, so I'm going down, catching up a little bit of speed. I want you to notice that my knees are kind of bent, I'm not standing straight up, but I'm also not crouched all the way down. I want you to know that my body is looking right across when I'm gliding down. However, when I'm pushing, I'm looking straight up, right where I'm going, all right? Um, yeah, those are the basic positions of your body. Uh, you just gotta test it around, find out your balance zone, and then, yeah, you'll get pretty comfortable on your skateboard pretty fast. So come roll with me, just a rebel, looking for a place to be, so let's kick, uh, uh, and push, yeah, yeah, and coast. Alright, so once you've got riding down, now it's time to start learning tricks. Alright, so the first trick that you're going to learn is called an ollie. It's basically jumping on your skateboard. Um, and this is the main foundation trick to all other tricks. Without this trick, you won't know how to do many at all. So, check it out. Uh, first got it when he was six, didn't know when he tricked. Alright, so you're going to start off learning the ollies in the grass. Uh, this is where I learned it myself. Uh, it's easier to do it when you're not moving at all. So, here's how you're basically going to do it with your feet. So first step, you're gonna snap down, kicking with this back foot, and this foot right up here, it's gonna slide up just like that. And then this foot, you're gonna jump, and you're gonna notice that your skateboard follows up, and then you're just gonna land, try and keep your feet just near the bolts of your skateboard, right here, right there. And that's the motion that you're gonna have. That's an ollie. Alright, so so far we've learned how to ride and ollie. Uh, some key things that you need to know is lots of practice. Uh, you're gonna feel like quitting at times, you're gonna feel really discouraged. Just keep at it. Um, it's gonna 
it takes a lot longer for some people than others, but uh, either way, if you keep on practicing, you'll get it, no problem. Okay, so once you've mastered riding and ollieing, uh, you can take it to next levels and learn new tricks and just take it th take it places that you never thought you could before. I'm killing himself is what his mama said, but he was feeling himself. Got a little more swag in his style. Met his girlfriend, she was clapping in the crowd. Love is what what was happening to him now. Uh, he said I would marry you, but I'm engaged to these aerials and barriers, and I don't think this board is strong enough to carry two. She said, "Bow, I weigh 120 pounds." All right, so uh, for skateboarding, you don't necessarily need to do tricks on it all the time. You can use it just for just getting from one place to another. Uh, skateboarding is a really good social thing. Like you meet a lot of people for sure. Uh, maybe one day if you're good enough, you can get sponsored or just like film it if you want. Whatever uh, you could own your own shop, just like switch. Uh, yeah, just have fun with it.